Common Dynamic Routing Issues and Solutions Since distance vector dynamic routing protocols provide slow convergence times, routing tables are often poorly updated and prone to routing loops. These loops occur because loops are not updated simultaneously, but rather sporadically through broadcasts. Distance vector routers learn paths to other networks through the broadcast of neighboring routers. When network X goes down, the closest router to it reports that information to its neighboring routers and its next automatic update broadcast. A routing loop problem occurs when other routers who have not yet received the update that network X is down send out their automatic updates, such as every 30 seconds when using RIP, declaring that network X is up and available and they know how to find it. The routers that were then told that Network X was down originally, and who sent broadcasts saying so, believe that Network X is back up again since they received inaccurate updates from uninformed routers. The uninformed routers are saying that Network X is good since they are more distant and haven't yet received updates that Network X is down from the routers closer to the update's point of origin. By the time the distant routers finally receive the update that Network X is down, it is too late. They have already sent updates to other routers that Network X is up, and this inaccurate update then replaces the update on the original routers which told them that Network X was down. This process repeats infinitely so that the routers never converge and learn the true down state of Network X. The following diagram is a representation of a routing loop convergence conflict. In this case, Network X goes down, right next to Router 7. Router 7 learns of Network X's condition and begins to send out an update packet to the other routers to let them know. However, the problem is Router 1 is also sending out an update packet, and it's broadcasting that Router X is up. The routers can never converge, because as each router learns that Network X is down, the other routers are learning once again that Network X is up. This creates the loop. To combat this dilemma, most dynamic routing protocols provide several methods. Method 1 is hop count. Most protocols keep track of a hop count. This count is incremented each time packets hop from router to router, and once it is exceeded, the packets are expired and taken off the network, ending an otherwise infinite routing loop. Method 2 is known as split horizon. Configuring split horizon on routers keeps dynamic routing information from being sent back in the direction from which it was received. In effect, updates travel along a one-way street. Method 3 is route poisoning. Route poisoning involves artificially incrementing the hop count of network advertisements to one hop past the maximum hop count value. This tells all other routers that network X is unreachable. When they receive the information, they respond with the poison reverse. For example, if RIP were being used with a maximum hop count of 15, route poison would involve incrementing network X's hop count to 16. Another serious router problem is known as interface flapping. This is caused when an interface's connectivity repeatedly comes up and goes down. Every time this happens, the router attempts to update other routers with the changing information, and therefore the routers on the network never reach convergence. This can potentially cripple an entire network. To prevent this from happening, holddowns can be configured on a router. Configuring a holddown prevents routers from constantly transmitting state information about interfaces that are flapping, that is going up and coming down. It restricts routers from updating changes of recently removed or added routes for a specific time period. This stops unreliable or flapping routes from being updated or restored to the other routers prematurely. Information Gathering Commands Some information gathering commands you can use in the Cisco IaaS to provide information about various dynamic routing protocols include Show IP Interface, which displays protocols and information for the specified interface. Show IP Protocols displays routing protocols configured on the router. Show IP Route will display the routing table with static and dynamic routes, and Show Run will display dynamic routes and advertised routes. The command Show Controllers S0 forward slash 0 forward slash 0 will display the clock rate and DCE or DT status of the specified serial interface. The command Show IP Interface Brief renders brief interface information. And of course there's always piping, which can be used to give you a substring output of a command. Example, show run pipe begin IP route would narrow down the output to just the IP routing information. Debug commands. To view a dynamic routing protocol's traffic and troubleshoot routing protocol issues, the Cisco IS provides a plethora of debug commands. These commands will allow you to see broadcasts, updates, packets, and communications as they are being sent from router to router on the network. One example is debug IP protocol. 
where protocol is a recognized protocol on an interface like EIGRP, IGRP, OSPF, or RIP. Examples, debug IP RIP, debug IP OSPF, debug IP IGRP, and debug IP EIGRP. Another example is debug IP protocol events, where protocol is a recognized protocol on an interface like EIGRP, IGRP, OSPF, or RIP. Examples, debug IP RIP events, debug IP OSPF events, debug IP IGRP events, and debug IP EIGRP events. Yet another example is debug IP protocol transactions, where protocol is a recognized protocol on an interface like EIGRP, IGRP, OSPF, or RIP. Examples, debug IP RIP transactions, debug IP OSPF transactions, debug IP IGRP transactions, and debug IP EIGRP transactions. Two more that bear mentioning are undebug all, which turns off debugging information, and logging synchronous, which stops debug information from updating asynchronously while you are typing.